Hello and welcome back. It's great to see you here. I am really excited to be continuing the quest for Glimmerwing, which we will begin shortly. Uh, just go ahead and make sure that you're taking a couple of seconds, please, to go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. It's super helpful for me and it's also helpful for you because you will be aware of when new content is released. So thank you for doing that. Much appreciation. Let's go ahead and see how we're doing here with Glimmerwing. Wing, which she is just absolutely adorable. Okay, so uh, here in our uh, quest status for the Crystal Feathers, we did not fare very well with uh, our snow piles and our snow crates in the Shiver Chill Mountains. So we are going to be heading over to Skywatch today, and we are going to be looking for the balloons and then also the pressure valves. And so that's what we're going to be exploring today. Hopefully, hopefully getting five ice sculptures, looking for these adorable ice sculptures. So let's go ahead and head on over and see what we can get. All right, so here we are in Skywatch and we're running along. All right, do let me know in the comments how you are doing with Glimmerwing. Hopefully she is following you around. We're gonna go to the wind machine first and we'll take a look at the wind machine area. Let's come on up here and then we'll enter the building first and just take a little look around and make sure that we have all of the different places we can go ahead and take a look. And look at that, right off the bat in ice sculpture. That is awesome. We did not even have to answer a question and we already have an ice sculpture. That is cool. We're gonna try to weave our way around as much as possible. Trying to click along, click along, and then we will need to get into this battle right here in order to head up the stairs. All right, so here we are going. We've got a hob, and let's start out with our... Let's go ahead and launch some... Let's go ahead and do a solar blast. All right, so Sage has a rectangular garage that has a length of 22 feet. The width of it is half of the length. If Sage wants to put a string of lights around her garage, how many feet of lights will she need? Okay, so we are talking about, about a rectangle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get this. This isn't going to be exact, but we have a long, we have long sides, we have short sides. So we're going to go ahead and use this in order to write our measurements down. Uh, so the length is 22 feet. Oh, the whole thing is moving. That's cool. Uh, 22 feet is this length. The other side is half of that. So half of 22 is going to be 11. And so uh, we're figuring out how many she would need if she wraps it all the way around. So the, 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 the two questions that we'll be probably exploring here are going to be, is it area... Yeah, let's pretend that's an E, or <laughs> is it perimeter? So A or P. Perimeter goes all the way around. Area is all of the space inside. So for area, we would multiply 22 times 11. For perimeter, we're just counting the sides. So we could do 22 plus 22 plus 11 plus 11, uh, or 11 times two plus 22 times two. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. 11 times two, that's gonna be 22. 22 times, 20 times two is gonna be 44. And so 22 plus 44, that is going to give us 66. And so that will be the uh, how she will need 66 feet in order to wrap all the way around. And let's go ahead and make sure our numbers lock is on. There we go. And so yeah, that was a perimeter problem. Okay, let's see what happens here. So here we go. And Hob is hitting with Ion Cannon. 3886 points of damage there. Supernova. Laverne created a painting with an area of 72 square inches and a length of 9 inches. They created a second painting with an area of 56 square inches. It has the same width as the first painting. What is the length? Okay, so this is a double. So we need to find the dimensions, which is the height and width of the first painting in order to figure out 
the second painting. Now remember, area is multiplication, so 9 times what equals 72? 9 times 8 equals 72. So 8 is the dimensions here that is the same as the second painting. So, and then 8 times what is going to equal 56, and that would be 7 times 8 equals 56. So 7 would be the length. Okay, and so 7 is the length of the painting. So we use the 9 in order to divide into 72 to get our 8. The 8 is the same, and then so we divide 8 into 56, or 56 into 8, and we get 7 at the end. So it's a two-parter. Two, two if any of these questions, now that we're getting into some higher uh, math concepts, if you want me to do a video on and just kind of focus a little bit more on, I'm more than happy to. So just let me know if you do, if you would like me to uh, pop one out. That's awesome. Very happy to do that. All right, 2958 spell power bonus. And then let's just go ahead and do one more supernova. And that should wrap it up. Which shape has an area of 16 meters square and a perimeter of 16? Okay, so 16, that is going to be, this would actually be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16. 4 times 4 also equals 16. This is going to be our answer. Uh, so I'm going to actually do a different strategy that I'd like to do. I'm going to add 4 plus 6, which is 10. So this side would be 10 too. So 20 would be the perimeter here. 4 times 6 is 24. So this one does not work. And then this one, 5 plus 3 is going to be 8. 8 times 2, because it's a 5 and a 3 over here. That's going to be uh, 16. So that would work. But 5 times 3 is 15. So that doesn't. So uh, I kind of like to add one length, one width, and then multiply for squares, for, for quadrilaterals. All right, and down we come. That should wrap everything up in a nice little bow here. Goodbye, goodbye. And we won. Woohoo! Okay, let's see if we are as lucky as we were when we first uh, got here. And we might be able to pull uh, this off today. Riff Room is getting so big, they're growing up right before my very eyes. Awesome, got a lot of cool stuff there. Let's open this up. Another ice sculpture. Are you kidding me? Wow, that is crazy. All right, so we already have two ice sculptures. So our first two contained ice sculptures. So this is awesome. And let's see, we're going to try to get into this door and see what is in there. I think we're going to get into a battle with a brawl, though. We are. And let's go ahead and enjoy this battle and swing on into the next area. All right. So we'll be able to get one supernova in. Let's go ahead and do a... Let's do Shroom Boom. Okay, so the Empire State Building in New York is 443 meters high. Meanwhile, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai is 830 meters high. How much taller is the Burj Khalifa building in Dubai? Okay, so what, this is subtraction. We're figuring out the difference between this is Empire State. This is the Burj, uh, the Burj uh, Khalifa. And so we're just figuring out how much more it goes up. So a bar model would look kind of like this to figure out the height if these ended up. So we have 830 minus 443. That's going to give us our other part over here. And so I am going to go ahead and just see if I can eyeball it here. So that would be 300. And that would be 12 minus 4, which would be 8. And then 10 minus 3 would be 7. It should be 387. I'm not going to double check. We're just going to see. And there we go. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm just trying to kind of get it quickly after explaining the problem. And let's see. There we got some shroom boom going on there. All right. 2581. Got a critical hit there from Brawl. Let's go ahead and do Supernova. 
And we might be able to get one more supernova in. Okay, so the perimeter of the shape is 12 centimeters. What is the missing measurement? Well, 3 plus 3 is 6. 12 minus 6, that is going to be 6. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so 3 would be this. This shape is a square. Each of the sides is 3 centimeters. So 3 times 4 would equal 12. So those sides have to be 3 centimeters. All right, up we go. And down we come. Awesome spell power bonus there. And it looks like if we're able to get one more AOE attack, then we should be good. 2580 points of damage. They're hit pretty well. Uh, Falling Star Smash, it is. The perimeter of the shape is 150 yards. What is the missing measurement? Okay, so 29 is going to be here. 29 yards, 29 yards. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 29 by 2. And so um, I know that 25 times 2 is 50. 9 times 2 is... Uh, sorry, 20 times 2 is 40. 9 times 2 is 18. So 58 would be the measurement of those two sides, which we, means we're subtracting 150 from that. And so if we subtract 150 from 58, then this is going to get regrouped into 14, or 140. And 14 minus five is nine, so 92. 92 is the value of this side and this side so we need to divide it remember that last step we have the two sides now we have to represent the question mark because it's question mark plus question mark we don't know either one of them and so once we divide these out we are going to get to 46 so i'll just quickly type in 46 i'm not going to write down the rest of the problem and that's how i would go ahead and work my way through that one Goodbye, Brawl. Snoots. And Snoots hits. Oh, misses. It <laughs> does not hit. Fails to hit. And I think we. Looks like we already have Snoots. Um, what is the area of this shape? 42 times 30. All right. So for this, I am not going to do all of the math here. We have a 42, right? We have a 30. So when I multiply 3 times 2, I'm going to get a 6. And so this is going to have a 6. This has a 2. We have something with a 0, so 30. That's This is not going to work. This is going to be a 90. That's not going to work. So our answer is going to be 1260. And I can even do 4, ti uh, four times 3 would be 12. Slap a 12 on there. That works out so that's that's kind of the fast way i would do it but i would double check to make sure which answer is reasonable which is not since it ends with the two we're multiplying with the zero in the ones place that one i can just cross right off the bat so yeah with the logic that we approach math with it makes it a lot easier to do so 21 more battle stars here all right 10 more stars and look closer and closer to having some level 100 a buddy's caster clan that's pretty cool let's not wear that now and let's just kind of come in here and we don't have anything in here all right here we have our seat nice secret little area but there is nothing for us to grab here Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, instead of going all the way back through here, we're just going to come back to Not Bonfire Spire, to Skywatch, and then come back around and swing in just a little further to see what else we can find. Alright, we're going to check this balloon over here, which we should be able to get past this. For some reason this takes me a little bit... Ah! Take it around. What are you doing? So, um, I really thought I wasn't going to do it that time. Let's see how many more times. 
There we go. All right. And let's see. Okay, we got gold and we have uh, arrows. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop here for this video. Uh, we will continue this exploration of the wind machine area. I'm so excited we already have two. And we will continue down this way to see if we can find any more um, statues. This, I cannot wait to get Glimmerwing. She is super cute. And uh, we already have two in this area. Hopefully with the with like two and a half areas left. I, uh, they were, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's like six ninths, six ninths left. Two thirds, we're, we're definitely have, definitely have two thirds, a little over two thirds left. So hopefully we are able to go ahead and get her, uh, get these ice sculptures done. Um, yeah, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in our next video to see if we can go ahead and capture all of these ice sculptures. Have a good day. Keep on prodiging on. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.